If you are a seventh or eighth grader thinking about STEM being something you might be interested in doing, I'd say try it. But if you never try it, you'll never know. Uh, it's a type of learning that gets away from traditional learning and instead focuses more on student performance and collaboration. Our academy is about teaching the students to think, which I think education right now leaves out. So teaching the students how to think, what to do with their thoughts, how to communicate their thoughts. I love when students explain something that they've got inside their mind and I get to help work with them on how to make that reality. McMichael's a wonderful school to be in. Not only do we have a great facility, here, just overall great facility and our STEM program is we have a lot of tools and materials and great things there, but we have great athletics, great clubs, great ROTC, great band, and a STEM student, um, they can be involved in those things. We've had STEM students who were the quarterback of the football team. We've had STEM students who were on our marksmanship team in ROTC. We've had the leader of our band as a STEM, has been a STEM student. So our STEM students can do a variety of things. Uh, you know, we got to have students who come every day, they want to be involved, they want to work with other students. Um, collaboration is really big. So for students to come in and not just hear the teacher lecture for 90 minutes, but instead take information and work with others and apply it. So we got to have collaboration. And they're ready to get up and move, make and create. Students who want to somewhat uh, move from just basic remembering and understanding of facts and move to maybe analyzing and creation. Technology, engineering, and math is only a little bit about what our academy is. Our academy is about so much more. Um, it is technology design, exploration, it's trial and error, failure, and getting back up and learning from that. It's um, a, the perseverance. Really what sets us apart is our tools that are so much different. You know, you've heard a lot about 3D printers in the last couple years, and a lot of those, the students at, at other locations, they download files and they print them, and it's really like a novelty thing. So the difference in ours is our students, everything that they print, they draw. So they draw them using 3D CAD, they print them, and we use them in projects. And there's many different projects that we do. And now we've added a laser engraver, uh, which is going to be able to cut out many different types of material. We have so many amazing tools and pieces of equipment and things for our students to use. We start building with little computer chips and, and component parts, so lights, LEDs, and sound with the uh, speakers. And the kids actually make, write code for it, and they make these components do things, so it's pretty amazing. Um, we do a lot of hands-on stuff, just cutting and making, making prototypes, coming up with ideas and getting them out there. We have 3D printers that print um, 3D models, so the students, again, create online um, in a digital world, and then we get to see that in the physical world, so it's really cool. After high school, you know, we have some students who go into the Rocket Top Apprenticeship Program. We have some students who go into military. We have some students who go directly to the work environment. But a lot of our students go on to college, whether that be two-year or four-year. So we have students right now who are at Appalachian State University, NC State University, and UNC Charlotte. And a lot of those students are studying things from sustainable energy to engineering and design, uh, so a variety of careers. You have advisors here uh, at the school that are gonna help you make decisions about what uh, STEM courses best suit you. So not only do you have the traditional guidance counselor support, you also have your STEM advisors and the STEM advisors are going to act like your advocate. Step one, you have to apply to the program. It's only available for eighth grade students to apply. It's really an enlightening process for both the applicant and the interviewers. Our students are what make our academy amazing. The students are incredibly bright, incredibly energetic, fun to work with, um, fun to be around. Uh, we all learn from each other. They are a really unique group of students. What makes my heart sing is to see a student who, when they looked at this project originally, they, whatever it happens to be, it looked like an insurmountable mountain to them. It looked like something they had no clue how to do. It was very large, uh, very difficult. But what they did is they took the lessons, they worked collaboratively with other students, and each day they did a step-by-step. -step. They did that little chunk every single day, and when they get to that peak of that mountain, when they've captured that project and really made something amazing, uh, something really, really useful that they can use, 
and you can see that and they want to show it to you. They pick it up and they show it to you. Look what I've done. That's it right there. That's the epitome. Whatever your interests are, our STEM Academy has different tracks and we allow those students to explore in their own ways. Uh, but we get to be around other students. So as a seventh or eighth grader, you haven't experienced education like this before. So I would say definitely give uh, the Phoenix STEM Academy a try.